Hello and welcome YouTube Mastery members. This is video six. In this training session, we're going to work together in real time. I'm going to plug in the, vi the flip video. You will see the screen and then we're going to proceed to edit a video, save it to the hard drive, upload it to YouTube, and upload it to the website. This is going to be very very important training. I think you're going to love it. Let's get started. Now just as an alert, there's going to be some natural interruptions here as we work through some of the time delays as we go through this reality video uploading process. The first thing that you will see when you upload or plug in your flip video is this screen and it asks you if you want to view your flip camcorder videos using the program provided on the device. Now, of course this is going to be different depending on the technology you're using, but a lot of people are using flip videos, so this is the one I'm going to demonstrate. So I click OK, and the next thing that we're going to see is the main screen that comes up with um, flip video. Okay, now it's reading the videos, and that's reading the videos on the flip video, and there are a few videos that I have recorded. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you that this first video, now if you can't, if you happen not to be able to see the picture, because in some previous tests I had some difficulty with my screen capture program actually showing the picture of the video uh, on the screen from flip video, but you will you will be able to see the edit bars. So um, What I'm going to do here is just quickly demonstrate. This is the edit key and when you edit up comes the Full video in case you can't see it. What I then do is um, I use the timeline bar here this is the start and this is the end to determine when I want the actual video to begin and end. So for this particular video, I have done that um, already. And once completed, I click the Save New button, which is right here, and save it to my computer. I've done that. So in a minute, I'm going to bring up the actual video uh, on my hard drive that I've already saved. Now in this screenshot I just want to briefly show you that in this particular folder which is my um, nonprofit uh, initiative with liferights.com I have uh, a number of videos that I have previously recorded and the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you with this training is right over here. It's it's labeled Temple Discusses Life Rights. This was done on July 8th, 2008. So that's how I've labeled it and that's important as we go to the next step. By now this should be a familiar screen. In this case this is the account for uh, Life Rights that's why it's labeled Temple Hayes. I'm now going to click go to videos and what we're going to do is we're going to upload a new video. In the interest of your time I've already completed this screen asking me for the title of the video the description of the video, the video category, and the tags. I want to point out just a couple things. I've been careful not to, comp to use the complete URL um, within the description of this particular video because that URL takes the reader off of YouTube and to the website uh, itself. YouTube seems to have a problem with that and I'm going to acknowledge that and we'll deal with that a little bit later. Now in the tag section I've already done the research and I know which key 
keyword tags that I want to use. That's an area where you want to pay a little bit of attention, spend the time, do your keyword research, go to your competitors' YouTube sites and figure out what they're using for keyword tags. Um, on, and obviously you're looking at the YouTube videos that have a lot of traffic. All right, so this is done. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, this is the only other area that I um, fill out, which is the date of the recording, and I usually just select today, and um, and then the the city. Once you enter the city, you do search. You see the map change and we're done and now we're ready to upload the video so now it asks me to browse my hard drive for the location of the video I'm going to do that so now I found I found the location and I'm going to click the button and upload the video and you may already be familiar with this but now YouTube is going to work and so I will pause this until YouTube is finished uploading this particular video and then we will continue. Okay, we're back. This is the message that we receive when the video is completed uploading by YouTube. Thank you, your upload is complete. And um, here is the code for embedding this video on your website. I'm not going to use that code at this point. Let's go to where it's, let's click on where it says My Videos. All right, you can see that we have the um, description that we entered and the, the title rather and the description of the video. And it's also telling us that not, while it has been uploaded, it is now being processed. So again, we have to wait. I, the, the, the wait time varies. Sometimes it's directly proportional to the length of the video and other times it's the time of the day. All kind of variables. Sometimes it seems to go fast. Sometimes it doesn't. Just have other things to do when you're uploading videos and waiting for them to be processed because it does take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause this again until the uploading or rather the processing is complete. All right, so YouTube is now done processing. You can easily tell because you can see the thumbnail of the video and um, we can now proceed. So now we have two options. As you know from a previous lesson, you can um, now upload this to Facebook, uh, use the code and embed it to your video or maybe you want to edit it and use the annotation feature. This is what I'm going to do um, and what I typically do. First I click on the uh, play button and now that takes me to the main screen and um, the reason that I do that is because right here at the bottom of the video gives me some options. So right off the bat, I'm just going to, I want to load this video and get this out on um, her Facebook account. So we're just going to click on Facebook. 